youngest uh, 29 years old man, way be the tallest man in the world, and him now actually eight feet and um, three inches tall, and he is a Kurdish man. But in Nigeria, we get our own tallest man in Nigeria, and he's seven feet four inches tall. We get him inside the house. He will tell us more concerning this and some of the challenges we're in the face. Join us. Welcome, Afiz Agoro inside the house. Good to have you. Welcome to the show, Afiz. How are you doing? Fine, thank yeah. you. Okay, so so looking at um, your height, you know, that one of the peculiar things where you get and that's something that will stand you out for anywhere where you go, especially yeah. if you're walking on the road. But how you don't take manage them? Tell us your story from, from when they born you. How how your parents even take manage your situation as I tell them born you? Actually, um, I wasn't one of the tallest in my uh, secondary school. Really? Yeah. I started growing when I left secondary school. At what age? I was about 18, 19. So after about five years, when my friends that we left secondary school together started seeing me, say, what? At least, let's even go to shop now. Why are you going to like this? I mean, wow, you know, just keep on growing and uh, till I find myself in this situation. So, because if you read further, if you read about him, they will talk to so there's a medical condition to him. Yeah. So, you go to hospital at that stage where you realize, say, you're just growing and growing and growing at the age of 18. If you go to hospital, which in the talk? Uh, actually, our hospital do not see anything for Nigeria. You know, you know the situation we are, we are in Nigeria. When I went there, my father was so scared. He had to take me to uh, loot then. He didn't see anything. I was taken to Igbobi. General Hospital. And they didn't say anything until uh, I went to last with myself. At the end of the day, they said maybe, probably it's uh, uh, my brother's father, they are tall, probably that is where I got the height from. Yeah. It, was, it was not until I got to America that the uh, American doctors told me everything about the height. That is, uh, it is called gangentism. And I, there is a hormone that is responsible for it, that I'm actually over-secreting the hormone, mm. which is gangetism. Mm. Tell us some of the changes. Now, we need to go back. At the age of 18, you discover, say, you, be, you just they grow, they grow. Yeah, yeah. What it be those changes where you see, where you notice, say, come, something is wrong with me? No, actually, I was growing, I was getting sick and growing and shooting up. There was nothing like, uh, just like normal sickness, like malaria, typhoid, that time. It was not all the other serious. Was well, your face always like this? Your face, your hands, your feet? No, 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 no. It wasn't like that. I was normal. I was a normal human being before, before I became a giant. So I'm now when you don't reach the adulthood, you don't attain this adulthood um, stage now, tell us some of the challenges we did face because, um, of course, I know say some of your outfit has to be custom made. Yeah. Um, you, you get some, you, can you enter any regular bus, yeah, Danfo yeah, bus? You know enter, if you enter Danfo? Yeah, they can't enter Danfo bus. That's, a, my, that's the most problem I have in, uh, in Lagos State. In Lagos State. So why do they take move around your transportation if you want to use public transport? I have to go by Uber. But Uber has small cars. Yeah, they will receive the seat back. All the way yeah, to the back. Yeah, all the way to the back. Yeah. Wow. So, so that was uh, one of the problems I have, and um, uh, me getting my shoe size, my clothing, and everything they have to be customized, or being imported from America. Okay. All right. So now you. These are the challenges I'm facing. You actually make a statement where just tr um, stuck for inside my head. You talk say. You were a normal human being yeah. before you turned to a giant, in yeah. your own words. Yeah. Now, would you say that, even with the state where you're there now, would you say that you are not a normal human being? Uh, I'm, uh, a normal human being, if you say a normal human being is like 5'10", five, 5'11", five, that's the way. But if you are getting to 6 feet, 6'4", uh, 6'5", uh, six, six, they consider you as a tall man. Mm -hmm. But when you are both 7 feet, you're a giant. You are not a human being anymore. Hey, you are a human <laughs> being. I'm a human being. Okay. But I'm a giant. Mm -hmm. I'm a specially made being. So Good. really, when, when you like go to America, when you travel and they tell you this, um, your, your situation and the peculiarity about them, um, they tell you whether any cure day or is it, is it something that is preventable? If you get picking, the chances yeah, yeah, they say yeah, you yeah, can pass us. Pre it is pre uh, preventable, but 
it was not dis uh, discovered earlier. Oh, so if you Nigeria, discover an early, you fit they, to prevent it. Yeah, they, they can prevent it, but we oh. know the kind of uh, country we are. Our medical facility is backwards, so there's nothing to detect uh, all those things there. So I did been, I was in America at that time. Uh, there was a drug they gave me now, thinking that it will actually stop. But I thank God today. What, so uh, how is your social life now? As regards to your family, your friends, people they come around you? Very well. People take pictures with me. Anywhere I go to, I'm a superstar. Apart from being a superstar, because even superstars still need people where, where they feel call up to any time where they're depressed. Even superstars still need people around them to make them happy rather than yeah. just take pictures. Yes. Do you get your family members, they always come around, do they very support well. you? They support me very well. Anything I want to do, they are always, always rally, rally around me. So you, like you talk, you talk say when you be the group, so you just not to say you be the sick and then you, when you, sh when you sick, you shoot up, you yeah. sick, you shook up. How you don't take manage that, um, that level of health in terms of your, the sickness is where you face? And then you used to have it more health challenges. No, and no, how you no, no, take... no, no, no. So your state to, of health is... It got to a certain stage. I think it's like 35 years old that I stopped getting sick and going and shooting up. So since then I've not been getting... Uh, uh, Ill or something like that. Okay, so your your state of health now is I'm top good. notch. I'm good. Top notch. I'm good. So now I want to imagine how your living room, the kind of chair where you get, because when you enter our studio, the first way you talk now, ah, your chairs are so low. Very low, very low. Uh, you know, I have to look for something that is high that I can sit down to be comfortable. Everything has to be high. So when we talk about your, let's talk about your family now. I mean, you get children, you get your. Mm, I'm not married yet. You're not married, okay? So, but people where they approach you, people you like, waiting, waiting, did they tell you <laughs> where, where fits, where, where they talk, where, where now? Are you finding challenges in that particular area? No, finding no, 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 challenges. Uh, people, people love me, but I'm, for now, I'm still searching for my choice. <laughs> now, Luchibi, they talk something about the chairs where they use for house. Yeah. Now, are your chairs custom made too? Are your beds custom made too? My, the bed, house where my you bed is custom made. But I'm using a plastic chair in my room. Why plastic chair? Uh, because it's high, high enough to, 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 to contain me. And it, to what are the door of your house? Because uh, a lot of houses where you enter, you need to bend. Yeah. Yeah. So what are the door of your house? My, the, the door your dining my, table? Yeah, my, the door of my house is very high. What are the ceiling? Because a lot of houses nowadays, the very, ceiling too, exactly, because the ceiling is always very, very yeah, it's being customized to my eyes. Everything is yes. being customized. It's an expensive eyes. lifestyle. Yeah, you know. So how do they take money the expenses? I mean, yeah. which 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 um which I, life? How do they take balance the lifestyle? Because actually, it's, not, it's not by choice. Actually, I'm still. It's not by option. I'm still staying in my father's house. Okay. And uh, to to manage the expenses because things are not easy. It's, it's, the government of our country are not even supporting. Uh, a brand like me, you know, if you go to America, you go to anywhere in the world, even the tallest man in Nigeria in the world. In the world, they have companies, they have governments that are backing them up. But in this country, mm. uh, all our government officials are just fighting for their pockets. They are not. Luchi, you know, sorry, Luchi, talk about finances just now. Yeah. I just want to talk about, we know, say, even right now, we physically challenge people. They actually face a lot of discrimination in getting a job. Yeah. Even the tallest man in the world, too. In yeah. I talk, say, in the face, um, a lot of um, discrimination because yeah. it's tall in getting a job. So as regards to finding money for yourself to put on top of the table since yeah. you stay in your father's house, are you facing challenges in that? Because I read that you are a graduate. Yes, I'm a graduate. Yeah. You know, they do, who are employing me? Who are employed person who go to a and slap them for fees? Eh? So it's difficult. And um, I do business. And I'm into modeling and uh, acting. I do acting sometimes. I'm into modeling. And um, I have one or two things I'm doing that is bringing up money, money for me. No, so it has not been easy. Yeah, exactly. Like, would they talk about some of the disadvantages? But for some other people, they, they see them as advantage and blessing yeah. with this hype of yours. Yeah, yeah, now, you don't try to do anything with the advantage, like, um, because yeah. you know, some sports, they wear yeah, basketball. I play basketball. I he actually played. play basketball during my uh, uh, secondary school days when I was in uh, Polytechnic. And I even played, uh, I, I used to play in Unilag. 
Why you stop? Because you say you used to. They are not the opportunities. They are not there. We are not there because when we were playing, we were looking for sponsorship to take us to America then. But it wasn't easy. Even when a white man came for scouting, I was one of the people he chose to go. But it's because of, our, 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 of the greed of our coaches in Nigeria, the man never came back. So right now, would you, if you get the opportunity, if person with the watch now talks, mm -hmm. okay, let me look for a way on how to help or rather help your dream as a gas to basketball, would you go back to playing basketball? At what age? At 43. It's easy. My sister, I don't even play basketball again. So which thing, which, which, um, what can you do at this point in time if somebody comes out and say, I want, um, to, I want to assist you, but which particular thing? If they want to assist thing? me, they are, we have a lot of projects we are, we are going to, uh, we, are, we want to do now. Like, uh, we want to do Agora Friends. Okay. Agora, the tallest man in Nigeria with some musicians and uh, comedians. We want to tour the, some politi uh, all polytechnics and universities all over Nigeria. Uh, it's a thing uh, we need sponsorship for. And uh, I have my NGO that I want to pursue on the tallest people, how to tell them about the, 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 the disadvantages and the advantages of these sites, you know, uh, to, for early detection of the hormone, the gangiatity hormone that we over secreted. So whether they will get, get tests, Get, get tested and get a uh, what's it called solution for it. Do we have those those tests um, because you in said Nigeria? Yeah, we don't yeah. have it here. Here at all in Nigeria. But we can negotiate with foreign hospitals that can do it for us at a lesser cost. All right. Uh, okay. Now you be tell us when Luchi be ask you some of the challenges where they face, yeah. and it's also one of the major challenges they face now because say to enter bus they very they had you. So you know they even enter bus at all. At all, now. I know they enter Have bus. services you they use. Nah, Ubao, nah, Ubao, Tasifa, nah, they use. Apart from that, Agoro, mm -hmm. tell us which other challenge you they face. Um, challenge you have been faced now. Nah, you know, say uh, business is no easy for Nigeria to gather money do business, to get, to get jobs for us to do, for movie, this thing, or my modeling, no easy. That's why I want to uh, try to introduce my NGO so that I go to see, see, the, see something, they push myself much more. All right, now, now speaking of, okay. in Adif, before we even go into your NGOs and other projects where you get on ground, now, you be, you, I'd be there, I try to ask you, because I'd imagine if I see you for more mm -hmm. or any of these public places. Take, for example, if you work at Go Market, mm -hmm. how people they take, perceive you, how people they take, uh, they take, people view they, you. People, they see me like Ingo. They know they run from you. They know you. they run from you. Uh, they, from, they, they, they run, or they, they always take pictures, they always take uh, videos, you know. Uh, people, people, they like seeing me for market. You understand? But the, the, that one, okay, when they see you and they see you as a celebrity, that one not going to make them. At least they're supposed to give you something for free or reduce the price of what you want to buy. Oh, yeah. They go say government, they give you money. Yeah. yeah uh, government don't give her money. Now government picking. They go say, ah, uh, add that money, add that twice. They don't know, say government, they give person money. Government know they even see talent for this country. Talent are the, they're the useless talent for our country. And so, I actually appreciate the fact where you come outside and say your parents, they support you yeah. and they not run away. I remember one time where I been interview uh, one of these little people and she come outside talk say, because say they can't discover saying a little person should be, and mama just throw away and come out. Oh, wow. You know, even take care of her, just throw away and come out. But oh, very good say my, um, my, your parents. My, my mother is my backbone. All right. Yeah. Now you be the only picking after no, all of no, them no, way no, tall no, like no, this. Siblings, no, 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 no. Where reach this, where get this giantism yeah, from? Yeah, no, no, no. I, my my senior brother and I like six three. That's the closest. We the uh, we really follow me. I'm the last born of the family. You are the last born of the family, yes. and you are the tallest. I'm the tallest. Mm. Yeah. Nice one. So if person they watch you now and they want actually sponsor your either your NGO or the tour where you want to, yeah. what thing you go tell the person where they watch you now? I beg you, make it now come to my aid you. It's not easy for me. Oh. Government you know they see me. Oh. I know they get a job. Oh. But if you want to sponsor me, may you contact my manager or you may you contact me directly through my Facebook page, um, Afizola Dimeji Aguru, or 
my uh, Instagram account hashtag Solesma in Nigeria or my phone number zero eight zero five nine three zero two seven zero six. All right, try sponsor um, if you can, because since say you get an NGO, we go educate people more as regards to um, when you notice say a particular trait on there for your pekin, where they make the pekin tall. So please sponsor um, as in commerce I talk. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Afiz Agoro. <laughs> so you entered our studio. Very nice that we don't get and, to. And uh, I want to. Uh, there was. Uh, um, uh, the director and CEO of 101 Entertainment that uh, hosted the Solace Point in Nigeria yesterday. Uh, we are having plans to do a big event tomorrow, uh, very soon. Very soon. Yes. His yes. name is, uh, they call him Professor. Uh -huh. His name is Ais. He's a very good friend of mine. 101 Entertainment, baby. <laughs> All, right. All right. If you want to know how tall he be, um, pictures there online. Follow him on top of Instagram, at tallest man in Nigeria. To enjoy more of this, our Ubunke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love him.